Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Friday, March 8th, 2019. So my goodness, we had kind of an ugly day yesterday with the market uh, moving sharply lower continuing this little downtrend that we have here um, in the chart as you can see and we now clearly have a failure uh, of the resistance up here and um, dug on it you know no one wants to see that happen but at the same time um, it wasn't a big surprise you know we had moved up so sharply for so long that a pullback was likely to occur and this resistance level up here being so strong uh, looked like that opportunity where we could start seeing that failure you know it's one of those things that we all as human beings um, we want the market to do what we want it to do and a lot of times we fail to recognize um, when the market is telling us something or showing us something, we want to try to ignore that and hope that that doesn't occur. But when we see big, um, big levels of resistance, big levels of support, it's really important as traders that we um, we develop the uh, discipline to respect those levels. And I've been talking about that um, resistance level for some time, and hopefully um, the majority of you were not surprised to see this pullback occur. Of course, you never know exactly how it's going to occur, what's going to happen. The, last night, I know everyone was probably thinking, oh, hopefully we're gonna find some support in here. Hopefully this is gonna be over after catching a little bit of support and a little bit of rally toward the end of the day yesterday. But now, doggone it, um, this morning we had, um, well, futures are looking uh, more than 100 points lower at the moment. And part of the reason uh, we went into the close um, probably a little bit hopeful, but um, futures uh, remained a little bit lower during the night and then they got significantly lower after China released trade data that was um, much less than expected and um, that sent um, Asian markets sharply lower and currently European markets are sharply lower this morning as well on that news the whole theme of global slowdown uh, seems to be uh, spreading um, all over the place so this pullback this morning a little bit shocking at the moment but let's keep in mind we have the employment situation number coming out at 8 30 a.m eastern that employment situation number could help the market um, um, regain a little bit or if it disappoints could make things worse so Everyone's going to have to focus 8.30 a.m. Eastern on that employment situation number and the housing starts number, which both come out at 8.30 um, a.m. Eastern this morning. So let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Same situation when we, when we take a look at that SPY, SPY. Significant pullback off of this price resistance. You know, we should have expected some kind of a pullback. It's interesting that when we finally reach levels like this is when we uh, seem to pile on with a whole bunch of extra bad news. I don't know why that happens, but it seems to be a, a common theme. Uh, we start a failure and then uh, everything seems to pile on. So we still have a little bit of support right in this area right here. And if that can hold, we may do okay in this chart. Please keep in mind that if that were to fail, uh, the next logical support level is is here. And I didn't mention that on the on the da diamonds, but if you take a look at the diamonds, if we were to fail right in here, then the next logical level of support would be down here at 250, which. Um, is a fairly big level of support so and psychological number for the market as well so hopefully you can kind of hold on down there let's take a look at the cues cues 
finally gave up the ghost yesterday really um getting with the program to move down and you can see we dropped down into this level of support that i suggested yesterday and um, if that does not hold this morning then remember this next level down here would be the most logical place we would go so watch that closely hopefully we'll catch a bounce in here and um try to come back just a little bit if that employment situation number is good this morning let's take a look at iwm iwm um, also pushing down pushing down into this level of support uh, looking at a little bit lower open this morning hopefully that um, we can uh, bounce off of this level because if we do fail here iwm has a little bit of support right through here that could hold it um, if and if that doesn't then we would look down into this level right here so um, could be could could be a bad day if um, those numbers those government numbers don't come out good today so let's keep an eye on that let's take a look at the VIX remember I, I have said uh, several times that um, this is going to be a critical level that if we get back above that that's a problem but the real problem is going to come in is if we hold that as support if we hold that as support and and we still see the market selling off this could get really really ugly very fast so what we want to see is we want to see those numbers come out good this morning we want to see that fear begin to drop um, back out of the, the market here sometime today pushing us back down below that level of, of uh, resistance and hopefully that'll be the case if we continue to extend higher the chances of us holding in this area holding this um, as support and kicking up um, I think increases so watch that closely today the VIX could be uh, could be spiking a little bit of fear today if uh, that employment situation number uh, doesn't help the market here so watch that close at 8 30 a.m eastern let's take a look at t2122 t2122 that four week new high new low ratio and you can see we finally pushed down here into that bearish reversal zone or excuse me bullish re re reversal zone and as you can see um here in this chart if we can catch a little support right in here and pop back up uh, that would be the good thing and hopefully we don't linger down here too long and we can as you can see we can linger down here for a little bit before we move up we certainly lingered up here much longer than i've seen and well i don't know that i've ever seen us linger up here that long hoping for the trade deal to be completed so um this morning's gap down will probably drop us down into here someplace and we'll have to see how the market deals with that if we can finally begin to bounce up please take note that um although this up here was kind of an odd aberration um, in the market just take note for as long as you take this back we get we get clear up in here and we start turning lower we get all the way down into here we turn back higher so just keep in mind that um, this is a very very accurate um, indicator um, even though we had this kind of a uh, really odd situation here where the market just refused to go down waiting on that trade that trade uh, deal news um, but now uh, kind of being swamped by the whole idea of a global slowdown so watch watch down in here for that potential bounce let's take a look at um, that economic calendar for today economic calendar um, real quickly I've talked about that already again right here at 8 30 a.m. we have a couple big reports that could move the market around the employment situation number by the way that number is expected to come in somewhere around 180,000 jobs uh, being created and also is expecting that that unemployment number will tick down to 3.9 percent about a 50-year low for um, that employment situation let's hope that comes in 
that strong. Remember, last reading on this was over 300,000 jobs created. So that would, 180 is good, obviously, but that's a significant decline. So I don't know how the market will react to that. Housing numbers were a problem uh, last uh, last reading um, because we're starting to see those housing numbers slip a little bit um, so we'll have to keep an eye on that also keep in mind we've got fed speakers here at 10 o'clock and uh, then the big one um, we also have Jerome Powell speaking at 10 o'clock to kind of round out that calendar day for us let's take a look on the earnings calendar a little bit lighter day you know just over 60 companies reporting earnings today um, none of them really particularly notable so um, I think most everyone will be focused on those economic reports however you always have to pay attention to those earnings reports if you happen to hold or are thinking about buying one of those companies make sure you have a method of finding out how a company when a company reports so that you're not surprised uh, by those earnings reports when they do come out we don't want to be caught off guard uh, by holding something that catches a, a, a major uh, a major disappointment or something and um, suffering some big losses like we've seen this year when a company misses on their earnings so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i wish you great profits and i wish you great success in your trading However, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I truly appreciate that. Leaving those, uh, clicking those thumbs up and leaving a comment. Help those algorithms show these videos to more people. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. It really means a lot to me that you're helping to support the channel in this whole idea of traders helping traders. Uh, providing this information obviously takes some time to do I, I obviously I, I don't make any money doing this and um, uh, take some time to do so thank you for those of you who do take the time to um, respond um, I, I truly truly appreciate it also um, everyone if please feel free to share these videos with anybody click that uh, share button and share this video on Facebook YouTube Twitter um, wherever um, you can you can share this um, I'm perfectly okay with that and thank you for those who do to help me spread the message of what we're trying to do here traders helping traders that's what this is all about so with that everyone let's take a quick look um, there are a few stocks that I want to point out this morning that could could have some potential here and we'll want to take a look at take a look at Apple itself Apple has been in this really tight consolidating zone in here and you can see we're moving over toward this trend yesterday we had a little bit of a decline um, in Apple pushing back down into this level of support but if we could get a good jobs number or something along those lines we might want to keep an eye on Apple in here if that were that were to finally react to the trend and start poking back up so one for the list it's certainly nothing ready to react to and by the way any of the stocks that I cover um, in this video please understand these are not recommendations to buy these are just simply um, stocks that I'm paying attention to and watching so you'll want to keep a uh, keep that in mind and do not take any of these um, as a recommendation to buy let's take a look at a stock UAA UAA has been suffering 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 for a long time down in here kind of languishing down here you can see UAA has pulled back if UAA can hold in this level of support right in here we can get buyers to step up in here and pop this up we might want to keep an eye on UAA however um, this could easily falter if the market continues to move lower this could easily falter breaking that trend 
trend. So on the on both sides of this, this could um, could find um, a nice trade in here. Let's take a look at Home Depot. Home Depot looks like it is setting up a failure and moving lower this morning. This is a pretty ugly looking pattern. We call this the bearish H pattern. And as you can see, um, there is some price support in this area, but right now Home Depot is not looking good. That housing number could be really important to Home Depot today. Keep an eye on that. On the bullish side, let's take a look at EA. EA had a really, really good day yesterday, popping up nicely. I still think there's a, a reasonable chance that EA could move over, particularly with the market being a little bit um, bearish here today. I still think there could be a, a, a pretty good chance that this resistance will hold this in this area for a little while longer and below that 100 level. But watch this close. EA had a, a, an earnings report that was bad, but um, it's been completely rejected. And now we finally pulled back and consolidated that, moved over here to the trend. So we'll want to watch that closely in here. EA could be setting up nicely. Take a look at Altria. Altria Mo continuing to move up, looking pretty darn good here, um, staying pretty strong in this pattern. A nice little trend. Mo might be one to take a look at. And another defensive stock that could possibly set up here, and that's um, um, MDLZ. Uh, Mondelez, you can see um, this is a massive breakout here on Mondelez. And the fact that it's pulled back and it's kind of dancing around this support level in here. Um, we need to see this kick up. We need to see this perk up before there's any kind of buy in here. But if that were to perk up in here, um, that may be an opportunity uh, for some um, long interest here in this stock. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. Please remember to click that, click that subscribe button and leave a comment. Thank you to those who do. Everyone, have an awesome weekend. Have an awesome weekend. Um, by the way, if anyone is struggling out there, I certainly understand um, how difficult that is. Take some time. Do a little bit more studying. Um, believe me, it's possible to make a living doing this. Um, every day, I'm grateful for the fact that I have the opportunity to trade for a living. Um, it's truly changed my life, and I know it can yours. Keep up the hard work and don't give up. Everyone, take care of yourselves. See you right back here bright and early Monday. Monday morning. Have an awesome weekend, everyone.